Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Right, so first things first, today is the International Women's Day and uh, I want to congratulate all the wonderful, wonderful ladies out there, uh, some of whom, not many, but there are some that actually do watch my channel as well. So special hello to all of them. They are definitely awesome. And as always, there is something happening for the International Women's Day. And this time around, it's a bit different. And there's actually a very good reason for it, because every single International Women's Day, there was this uh, thing going around where people need to lighten up in general. But the entire point was that there used to be a boss rush every March 8th back when. So somebody's just asking here about that boss rush. And obviously, obviously, the very first comment on the forums, because the forums are the place where everything gets ruined, fun goes to die, and you will catch the most uh, self-serious, you know, people in there. And as a clockwork, every single year, like one of the first comments about International Women's Bosch Rush was, I never got that. Let's celebrate International Women's Day by designing a challenge where you beat up women. This is a fighting game. That's the only thing you can do in this game. You either beat up a dude or you beat up a lady. Or you get your ass whooped by them because parry drop. What, whatever. Surely the challenge should be use female to tag champions or something. But either way. Uh, it's, it's just the way world works these days. Nothing's ever fine. So this time around they actually did change things up. Uh, to a point where you kind of need to defeat content. Primarily using lady champions. So there's this one women of power, Alison's Wonderland, where you need to use male champions as well. But uh, for most part, all of these individual special objectives do give you rewards if you complete them by using lady tag champions. And then you obviously collect the points uh, here as well, complete uh, women of power solo objectives. And if you do seven of them, so if you do most of them, you actually get this selector. And uh, in this selector, you can pick any one of these champions as a six star. And this is pretty much the only reason why I actually do like this one. Because we have Royal, Padme, Cat Murdoch, SG, Pixie Bell, Leona, Yoru, and Allison Edits. So definitely the biggest shout out goes to Leona Yoru, picking Werewolf by Night, for SG for picking Photon, and for Padme and Royal for picking uh, Valkyrie and Black Cat. Because those are the most meta relevant champions that a lot of people would actually like to acquire. Now, let's make this clear. For me personally, I'd much prefer, you know, a random boss rush. And in all likelihood, I don't know if I'll be... Let me know. Do you guys want me to see, want to see me do these challenges with the champions designed in the objectives? Because in that case, you know, you can try and get it done in order for me to show how it's done and make it easier for some people who might struggle with it because this is available to everybody starting the contender level. But the point is that, you know, for me personally, this event offers no benefit. I have no need for any of these champions. The six stars I have no desire for them. And uh, I'm okay with that. As I have said many, many times in the past, I have long since been okay with not all the content being designed for me or engaging for me. And uh, yeah, I am perfectly fine with that. At the same time, this selector alone makes it worth it for so, so many people who are chasing Werewolf by Night. I know for a fact that there are a lot of people who are still after him, who are chasing Photon, who are chasing Valkyrie or the dupe for Valkyrie or something like that. And I'm happy for them. Uh, this is a relatively straightforward, simple, small, contained event where a ton of people will, you know, be able to even as ever so more slightly advance their roster. When it comes to the rest of the rewards, really, you know, there's, there's, there's just not much. There's some of these cav crystals, but, you know, for somebody who's valiant, no cav crystal is particularly interesting to me at all whatsoever, regardless of which champions are in there. And aside from cav crystals, only thing you can get from this event is ISO and titles and profile pictures. So it's, again, clearly not an event for me or at the very least not something that i would ever do in order uh, to get the rewards uh, and that's fine but 
thanks to that selector, I do think that, uh, yeah, uh, it, it is still a solid event. Again, I would have personally preferred some version of a boss rush, just so it's kind of like easier and less finicky to get it all done. But fair play to whatever Gabam decided to do here. And uh, again, shout out to all the ladies designing these challenges, kind of like a mini Karina set of challenges, I suppose. Because uh, some of them are quite interesting, would involve revisiting all their story content as well. Like... Uh, Defeat, okay, now complete Act 3, Quest 2, and 6, Thanos using two-star champions, Gamora and Nebula. So only two-star Gamora and Nebula, Act 3. Could be interesting, two-star Medusa only, or two-star Wasp, or something of the sort. So, uh, not too bad. Maybe, maybe I'll make it into a stream. Um, these last two challenges really kind of do annoy me, where you need to, you know, hunt down like a Mole Man Man, go against Spider-Man Classic. Uh, not the biggest one of those seems kind of tedious to get done uh, But who knows let me know whether you guys want me to see want to see me do these challenges on a live stream or not I am still kind of undecided because again, there's very little direct benefit for myself But uh, we can return back to the forum because this comment section uh, Really uh, really always kind of like blew me away. So the first person asked, you know there is always the boss rush. Is it still a thing? And then we obviously have the let's celebrate Women's Day. But, uh, and then, yeah, it's unfair. Women's Day should celebrate by giving three, three seven star women champion. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Uh, then somebody comes in, but what is a woman? Dude, this thread is like wild. Uh, and then we start hoping. Uh, well, I guess everybody's complaining how all the content's geared towards endgame players. You are happy with these inter International Women's Day quests. And again, yeah, I actually, I, I, you know, not for me as a piece of content, but I think it's solid. I think a lot of people, you know, wanted something that's easier for lower progression levels that will not make you stress out too much. You know, ranking up two-star champions, super easy and simple. And if by ranking up a couple of two-stars, you can get a six-star photon out of it. I think a lot of even, you know, uh, mid-tier players would enjoy it as well so anyways uh that's it uh just wanted to say that uh, yeah i think this is a good event for vast majority of the player base and if you are missing any of the champions in that selector like photon like world by night valkyrie or black cat you should go and take an advantage of that either way i'm gonna catch you guys later hope you guys are enjoying your day and once again uh Hello to all the ladies out there, and congratulations on International Women's Day. See you later. Hello there, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So, we have all the information about the next one. Hello there, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So, we have all the